it is time it is 8 24 p.m bst and you are live with me on twitch.tv slash mo 2 x 1 5 and you best believe i'm sipping that green tea it's hot but who cares it's the finals guys if you're in the chat and you feel like making some noise now is the time say hey yo introduce yourselves converse with each other tell me how you're feeling as we go into the final night of the golden quest do what you have to do type what you have to type to let me know that the sound of my voice is penetrating your soul and that the audio is coming through and in the meantime and in between time i'm going to quickly set up this all-important match for the future of one cody so in our opening match, obviously we got Cody versus Katsuyori Shibata. Instead of housekeeping, we're just going to go and run down the card very quickly. So our opening match is going to be Katsuyori Shibata versus Cody. The two the two um, bottom of the barrel competitors. <laughs> I hate to use that, but they're great competitors, but they finished last place. Cody, however, has not won a match. If Cody does not win this one, this will be the last time we see Cody. Let me just check the uh, Twitch chat very, very quickly. So excited. The finals audio is all good. Almost time to find out if Cody will end the Golden Quest utterly defeated. K-Mac. Oh, <laughs> how's it going? A lot riding. Uh, let me know once you, I win the Golden Quest. For you right now, it's about staying in the game. So if Cody cannot win here, um, this will be the last time we see him for a while. But K-Mac, hope you're good. Nightwolf Jones, Cookie Monster, Nightwolf in the finals, Archer and Okada in the finals, Jazz, the master of poles, I guess, <laughs> throughout the Golden Quest. Um, but yeah, let's run down the cards. So opening match is going to be Cody versus Shibata. Very important. Then in our second match, we have Lij versus Chaos. We have from Block A, Tetsuya Naito, my pick, one of my picks, unsuccessful in the Golden Tournament, along with Stufi's pick. Of Sanada, Lij versus Block B, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Hiroki Goto. Um, there's some history there. In match number two, match number three, our our determining match for third and fourth place will take place between AJ Styles and Kota Ibushi, both on 35 points. They both finished uh, in second place in their respective blocks on 35 points in our co-main event and in our main event. The question will be answered. Can Lance Archer, Lance Archer, have a perfect streak and capture the heavyweight championship? The first undefeated heavyweight champion or will Okada be able to reign on his parade? Time will tell. But let's get into this first match here. Let's set things up. We're going to have to do things slightly differently. Uh, so we have the right arena, we have the right venue, we have the right referee. <laughs> there we go. Red Shoes, Uno, IWGP Jones. Check the settings very quickly. Everything seems okay. Everything seems okay. Run-ins, off. Uh, we're going to leave that off. But yeah, there we go. Very important match. Final, so excited. It's, it's, I can't believe it's been a month already. It's been a month long, grueling tournament. I've learned so many things. Thank you, Reese on Wrestling. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, for the follow on Twitch. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, then um, you've missed the tournament live on Twitch, but it's all good. I'm glad you're catching up on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that good stuff as we kick things off with this very important match. If Cody does not win here tonight, it is going to be the end. Of the American Nightmare. So, without further ado, let's get our first match underway. I'm gonna sip some green tea, so I'm too excited. Someone needs to redeem that shit. Too excited.
And here we go. This could be the last time we see Cody if he doesn't pull out a win in this one. Um, on the other hand, I believe if uh, if Shiba is to win, uh, I believe Jas uh, would have the right to request the correct entrance music for Katsuyori Shiba. As the poll goes live, who is going to win this one? Will it be Katsuyori Shibata or will it be the American... Uh, at this point, yeah, the American Nightmare very much sums up Cody's Golden Quest. No victories at all in the tournament. And if he loses here tonight, he will be removed uh, from the remainder of the 2020 schedule. It is do or die poll time in the Twitch chat as Shaba moves Cody away in a rear waist lock. Sorry, in a, in a front face lock. Connecting with a snap suplex to the center of the ring as both men tie up. Cody gets whipped into the ropes and just knocked down. Not a good start. Two minutes into this one. Still, uh, all to play for. But, you want Cody to show that fire that he showed in the match against Archer. He hit Archer with two devastating uh, crossroads. But was unable to, to defeat Archer. I mean, if he would have defeated him there, he could have laid some claim uh, to the championship. Should Archer win tonight? and become our first heavyweight champion. What is Cody doing on the outside? He's not even catching his breath. He... What is going on here? This is an interesting kind of event. Nineteen. Twenty. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Maybe Cody's had enough of the of, of FPW. Maybe he's walking out. I don't know. Maybe he just quit on us. I don't know. I don't know. That was a, that was a, that was an unscripted moment. Uh, the match ending in three minutes and fifty-two seconds. Very controversial. Uh, you can believe Pigman Jones is going to be on the dirt sheets about this one. I don't know what was going through the mind there of Cody, but he will not be working here in the future uh, for the remainder of 2020. We don't know what that was about. There was very disrespectful to the people that came here, paid good money to see the Golden Quest, subscribe, tier one Jones, all that good shit. Shiba picking up a victory by ring out in 3 minutes and 52 seconds as we keep things rolling towards match number two. This is going to be tag team action between uh, Naito let's do a little something different let's do a little something different uh, we're gonna have a wrestler in the second sorry wrestler instead of a second and he's gonna be with the cold skull Sonata in match number two and they're gonna be taking on the team of uh, Shinsuke Nakamura And Hiroki Goto in match number two in tag team action. So this is the first tag team match we've seen in company history. This is going to be LIJ representing Block A versus Shinsuke Nakamura, a former member of Chaos. With a current member of Chaos, Hiroki Goto, both representing Block B. It looks like we have the right ring, the right arena, the right referee. The conditions are set. Um, recent wrestling, Melsa still give it five stars. I don't know about Melsa. We're going to have to wait for the official Pigman Jones uh, report from Jazz. Um, I don't know. Yeah, everyone's kind of shocked. Cody fish Shibata. Cody is done with the, with the GQ. Cody is done with FPW. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he got an offer somewhere else. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Pigman Jones says that Cody has backstage heat from the <laughs> GQW, GQW, uh, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what that was about, but here we go, match number two, making history still, first tag team match that we're going to be seeing uh, in company history, everything is set, everyone is good to go, so it'll be my pick in the in the Golden Quest, uh, and Stufi's pick, uh, Sonata, Team LIJ versus Clutch, and the Cookie Monster, uh, Team Chaos, let's get this one underway. Thank you guys for the sips of green tea. 
I will be sipping it silently as the as they roll out to the ring. And here we go, making history one more time. The first tag team match in company history. We'll see uh, former member of Chaos, Shinsuke Nakamura versus current member of, sorry, with current member of uh, Chaos, Hiroki Goto, taking on Tetsuya Naito in his casual baseball cap. Uh, and his tag team partner, fellow LIJ member Cold Skull Sanada. In this tag team encounter, Shinsuke Goes for that spinning rule kick and connects. There is a pull up on the live Twitch chat. Who is going to win this one? LIJ or Chaos? Is it, is it fair to say? Chaos is, is uh, shades of the old Chaos versus uh, LIJ. As Naito gets uh, pummeled in that red corner. Very much a red corner. Uh, Nakamura and Goto wearing, uh, sporting the red. Red shoes asking Naito if he wants to call it. Shinsuke connecting with those knees. Sonata looks like he's seen enough, gets in the ring and breaks it up. Uh, Shinsuke able to uh, fight out of his situation. Goto with a short running PK. Goes for the cover. Nakamura and Sonata, both illegal men squaring up. And a code red on Naito. Red Shoes goes for a cover and Sonata quickly breaking up at one count goes for a drop kick but to no avail as goto lands a a bulldog goto been very impressive uh on the back quarter of his tournament as he looks to pay some respect to katsuri shibata with that sleeper taking him down hitting a pk and maybe going for another one this time coming off the far ropes and naito just getting back up to his feet and another bulldog connects to Tetsuya Naito, Naito El Ingobernable El Ingobernable de Japón Nakamura now in the ring Goto with a um, brownie points for whoever can name that maneuver I keep forgetting what it's called but Goto with his signature move right there on Naito as Nakamura takes over and they continue to work on Naito with that power slam dragging him across the name of our donors uh, for our jackbox that jackbox quint pack and red shoes goes for a count and sonata again breaking up the count for the maybe the third time in this match as naito and nakamura going back and forth goto wait a minute nakamura with a super kick takes down naito pigman jo jones rates shibata and cody in minus three stars Feels bad for Shabbat. Shabbat was screwed out of uh, a performance here tonight. There's no denying that. There is no denying that. But we need to get past it. We need to get past it. We need to focus on the task at hand. Naito goes for a roll through. Unable to get even a one count as Nakamura kicks out. 
And Naito and Sonata picking up the win on the live Twitch poll with 100% of the votes. Naito and Sonata. Looks like they might have an uphill battle. They seem to be Goto and Nakamura functioning like a well old machine. That's maybe the first double team maneuver we've seen uh, here in company history as Goto takes Naito yeah. up and connects with an Ushi Goroshi dragging Naito away from those ropes as both men tie up but Goto taking advantage with those kicks knocking Naito to the ground Naito needs to make a tag because there's only so many of these that he can take Goto this time going for a cover Red Shoes makes the count and Sonata again breaking up the pinfall this time at two so Naito's taking even longer to kick out now as Nakamura drops him again and he's known to end matches with that. So I wouldn't take that, that lightly. I wouldn't take that lightly. Goto going back very frequent enough times as we approach eight and a half minutes in this one. Uh, the chaos of old working very well as a team. Goto now, Ushi Goroshi again to the neck of Naito. That hat has stayed on. If you guys want... Uh, if, <laughs> that, that hat has stayed on the head of Naito this entire match. It's good merch right there. As Nakamura again just dumps Naito. That could have been over. And a dragon sleeper from Sonata. Who has yet to be tagged in. Uh, into this match. Ooh. Sonata going for a drop kick but to no avail. Going back to the blue corner. Naito thrown into the blue corner now. Naito covering up. Not a great performance. Maybe the effects of this tournament are, are wearing on uh, Naito. As it must be on all other three men. All the other three men. Naito showing the effects of the tournament. Maybe a bit more than the others. Showing enough wherewithal to go for a roll, uh, roll through. But unable to get even a one count. And the kitchen sink as Nakamura asks Naito to get up and come get some. So tagging in his partner, uh, Hiroki Goto. And again, hitting that 3D-like maneuver, that flapjack into a cutter. As Nakamura comes off the ropes and connects with another PK-style kick uh, to the chest. Wait a minute, Naito able to counter momentarily. Connects with a uh, reverse, uh, a dragon steel leg whip. But eats another Ushi Goroshi from Hiroki Goto. Goto looking very impressive. And Goto signaling for something. Maybe thinking about doing uh, some GTR action. That Goto revolution. Very carefully, very meticulously moving Naito away and closer towards the red corner. Very solid teamwork tonight from Nakamura and Goto. As Goto just slams Nakamura into the into the mat, throws him back into the red corner. They both tie up. Nakamura, wait a minute, some miscommunication there. Nakamura finishing the job with a, a running knee in the blue corner. Sonata desperately needs to get that tag in uh, from Naito, but Naito not even looking to consciously make that tag, which is kind of surprising. Kind of surprising because he needs. Uh, some time to catch his breath and to recover it. Nakamura hits a huge moonsault. And Sonata's got his eye on that moonsault. Uh, Naito looks very much uh, down and beaten as we approach 14 minutes uh, into this one. Nakamura comes off the rope and a huge kick to the back of the head of Tetsuya Naito as Nakamura with from that rear waist lock just attacking the back of the injured knee of Tetsuya Naito and like a Novan Lights just to throw there over the head uh, Nakamura is not in good shape uh, sorry Naito my mistake is not in good shape he goes through uh, for a cover able to counter momentarily uh, into a sunset flip showing very little signs of life it's kind of worrying and maybe that was all she wrote Nakamura hits the knee and Sonata able to break it up in the nick of time and Sonata looks like he's rearing to go. He just hasn't had the opportunity yet to get into the ring and do some damage as he locks in uh, momentarily that octopus stretch. And now Naito and Nakamura going back and forth. Naito needs to get the upper hand here, but eats instead 
a super kick. He needs to make a tag. I cannot stress this enough. And still. Uh, trying to go this alone. I don't know if this is smart. I don't know what he's trying to prove here. Sonata doesn't look too happy. And Goto now signaling for something. Again, just continuously uh, chipping away at that neck of Naito. And an angle slam, or an Olympic slam. He's probably used it more times in this, uh, in this month, uh, as I was saying. More than Kurt Angle, who is uh, not competing tonight, but had a stellar loss two matches. Uh, his final match against Lesnar, as Naito goes for a cover. <laughs> Unable to hold him down and now eating a German suplex from the king of strong style Goto with a dangerous German suplex on the apron to Sonata Sonata must want to get into this match badly as referee Red Shoes applies the count Naito still willing but is he able it looks like he yeah Naito's busted open, Nakamura goes for a flying cross arm breaker. And Nakamura picking up a victory via submission. Sonata is not happy about this one. But could we be seeing a reformation of uh, Shinsuke Nakamura to chaos as Former teammates pick up the win here. Match evaluation stands at 72%. LIJ taking the L. Or putting the L in LIJ tonight. Mainly Naito not wanting to tag out. Sonata doesn't look too happy. We're going to see how this develops as we roll into August. Um, and we roll into plans outside and beyond the Golden Quest. This one going 18 minutes and 56 seconds. Ending with a flying cross arm breaker from Shinsuke Nakamura to Tetsuya Naito. As we look ahead to match number three, our co-main event of the evening that will determine uh, exactly who will finish third and who finish who will finish fourth in terms of the rankings, the standings uh, of the Golden Quest. Uh, I think Naito has lost his trust in his team members after the events of. Uh, well, I don't know those events. You know, it doesn't. We don't really. We don't really consider those. Events, because uh, how do we get rid of someone? If anyone knows how we can remove uh, someone from second, from being a second, please let me know. I think there must be a way, right? There must be operation guy. There we go. Delete entry. Okay, so we're gonna delete uh, the seconds, and we're gonna put in the two that came in. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So we need to find uh, Ibushi. Who will be taking on uh, my pick for this tournament, finishing in either third or fourth place, depending on how this one goes. The phenomenal AJ Styles. We're gonna give him some uh, something different today. Let's give him. Let's give him this. No. Too close. Let's give him. Uh, let's give him some blue. So we're gonna have in match number three. We're gonna have Kota Ibushi versus AJ Styles. The winner of this. Both men are. Uh, Finished up the Golden Quest with 35 points. Very impressive. Seven victories, two losses. Um, and each of them looking now to finish in third place with one more victory. Oh, very good. Very good observation. Uh, thank you, Jess. Kota Ibushi is not set correctly. There we go. Kota Ibushi... <laughs> Crazy's pick uh, versus my pick, AJ Styles, in match number three of the finals of the Golden Quest. Let's see how this one ends, because this has got to have implications in the future. If there's ever another championship uh, to come into circulation, maybe somewhat of a, I don't know, intercontinental championship, uh, one of these two men that finish uh, third hit tonight would have to be uh, considered, considered very strongly. But time will tell, so let's get this one underway. Uh, I appreciate the sips of green tea. I'll be sipping away as these guys come to the ring. Kota Ibushi versus AJ Styles.
and here we go if you're just joining us on this very hot summer uh, night here for the golden quest on the 31st of July 2020 I want to welcome you to match number three Kota Ibushi versus AJ Styles the winner of this or oh, this match will determine who will finish third and who will finish fourth this is a battle for third place and it is poll time on the live twitch.tv slash mo 2 x 15 uh, Twitch page Jones So who is gonna win this one? Will it be Kota Ibushi or will it be AJ Styles? Did I correct my posture? Thank you to the redemption from Jazz B The man with the pole, the man of a thousand and four solutions uh, The man that gives uh, Cody minus three stars <laughs> For uh, his, uh, I mean if you missed if you missed what happened earlier, you guys can type in exclamation mark golden quest and uh, everything will be up there in due time. Everything will be up there. The entire tournament will be there in its entirety very, very soon. Very soon. Um, but as for tonight, this is the final night of the golden quest. What a tournament it's been uh, running from the 4th of July round robin style all the way uh, to tonight, July 31st, where we will crown the first heavyweight champion it will be the undefeated Murderhook Monster Lance Archer uh, with nine victories versus the Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada who, who won uh, Block B. One of these two men tonight will be crowned the first heavyweight champion. And one of these two men will be in third place. Uh, finishing with, uh, let's say, 40 points because they're both on 35. And they're looking to prove a point here tonight. Uh, no strangers to one another either. AJ Styles and Kota Ibushi. Uh, Ibushi in the white and blue. Styles in the blue. Currently in the red corner. As they both tie up. And Styles connecting with a lariat. Uh, Kota Ibushi with a drop toe hold and a camel clutch. To a down and prone AJ Styles. AJ able to make his way out as we approach the five minute mark as they tie up on the Fire Pro Wrestling uh, World logo. A logo that Cody spits on tonight with his actions as Styles hits a 450 splash for Ibushi too close to those ropes. Able to uh, stop the referee's count and now throwing AJ Styles into the ropes uh, and, and, and a power slam straight into a, a, a knee drop into the throat of the phenomenal one as uh, Styles comes back with uh, some moves of his own jackknife cover and only a two count I say only a two count but it's still early days uh, pump handle attempt Ibushi with two vicious strikes and Styles fires back with some of his own and follows up with a Pele kick going for that cover as AJ Styles wins 67% uh, of the votes in the live twitch.tv poll. This is the point where I would usually say, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, why not consider watching this with us live? But to be fair, um, this is the final night. So I hope you're enjoying it on YouTube. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you tell us about your favorite moments, uh, your favorite moves, your favorite matches, your favorite things, your least favorite things maybe. What could be done better? I want to hear from you. I want some feedback. Uh, and I want to thank everyone for watching along. It's been it's been an experience. It's been an experience. As uh, AJ experiences that apron on the way out. Kote Ibushi moving to the center of the ring trying to catch a breath. AJ now throwing him into the ropes. We're waist lock. And jockeying for position. Oh, and it looks like a, a version of a, like the glam slam. I don't know what the, what the other term for is. Time for that maneuver is uh, as AJ connects with a drop kick. Kota Ibushi with a snap mid takeover now, just just pulling AJ away from the ropes. And another Pele kick, dropping Ibushi straight to the cerulean blue mat. And Styles now runs in, and a running bulldog connecting to Kota Ibushi as both men tie up. Ibushi now with a whoa, Kamagoye out of nowhere. Maybe too close to those ropes as Red Shoes calls for a, a maybe it was a desperation yeah. move, but it looks like he's going for a. Oh, so close! I I had to stop. For, wait a minute. We've seen this move before, but not here. That was the first time we're seeing it here in company history. Uh, a very dangerous maneuver. 
We've seen it uh, injure and take months off of the career, maybe years, off of wrestlers in the past. Uh, as AJ Styles goes for a knife edge, Trump just exchanging blows. And Ibushi now with a Hurricane Rana off the ropes. And a Shote. Looking like he's in fun control. Styles showing signs of life. Uh, power. Power. Power ball. Spin out style. Almost defeating Kota Ibushi. As the crowd are stomping their feet as we're 11 minutes into this one. Shote again from Ibushi. Both men tie up. And Ibushi showing great fighting spirit throughout this tournament. Styles maybe taking a second longer just to catch his breath there. And avoiding uh, that running rebound attack from Kota Ibushi. And connecting with a hurricane runner of his own. And another Pele kick. Uh, a move that's synonymous with both of these two men. As Ibushi comes off the ropes, Styles goes for a rear waist lock. And just as I was saying, Ibushi connecting with a Pele of his own. Styles with a huge German suplex. Overhead release, not going for a cover. As they tie up again, a straight left. Kamagoye, as I begin to lose my voice, red shoes. Almost counting three for Kota Ibushi. Styles with a pump handle drop. Wait a minute, waiting. Stalking in the corner, running, and connects with a step up in Zagiri. Goes for a cover. And ends the Golden Quest with a victory over the Golden Star. AJ Styles is your winner. And there we go, the match evaluation standing at 90%, 13 minutes and 59 seconds. A shining high kick is the scientific term, followed up by a back, back hook leg pit. So complicated. He hit him with a shining wizard and he ended, uh, he took the shine right off of the golden star as AJ Styles comes up with a victory. And now that was a good match. Yeah, so AJ Styles finishing the golden quest in third, Kota Ibushi finishing in fourth. We saw some history with our first tag team match. Maybe a reformation of Chaos. Uh, Cody seems to have walked out. And here we are. It's almost main event time. But before we get to our main event, uh, I'm going to run a little something to keep the lights on. So bear with us. If you're not subscribed, we'll be back in about 60 seconds. If you're on the YouTubes, this is where we take a second to pause for the cause and I take a sip of green tea. Thank you to everyone in the Twitch chat for these redemptions. It really does go a long way. Especially when it's, it's as exciting as it is tonight. Um, so I'm going to use this opportunity while we have 40 seconds to play with uh, to set up our main event. So we need to return to the menu. As we prepare to crown the first heavyweight champion we're going to go into our league and uh, select continue uh, auto on save league da, 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 da. everything's pretty much done there's only one thing left to do and we're going to do that in about 20 seconds guys hope everyone is good thank you to the twitch chat for uh being very active being being very excited this is exciting times this is the payoff for like a, almost a month's tournament uh and it's been good maybe we'll make this more of an annual thing this was an experiment um, and so far so good so far so good as we come back in uh, live live Jones <laughs> so here we go main event time so let's quickly run down how we ended up here Kazuchika Okada only I believe losing one match to Kenny Omega correct me if I'm wrong I don't have my notes in front of me but if you're in the twitch chat and, I, and I'm incorrect please correct me uh, Kazuchika Okada losing only one match to Kenny Omega. Lance Archer from Block A defeating Cody, Naito, Ishii, Lesnar, Kurt Angle, Sanada, Evil, Kota Ibushi, 
and the pain maker Chris Jericho undefeated. And with one more victory, he would become the IWGP Heavyweight Champion, our first champion in company history. But if there's one person that can stop him in its track and make it rain on his parade, you have to believe it's Kazuchika Okada. So, I'm going to take my last sip of uh, green tea. Like, I'm actually done with this. Like, I've actually <laughs> gone through the whole thing. Thank you guys for the redemptions. It is much appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sam, for the posture check. That's also very important. We need to make sure we're ready for this one because this is it. This is everything we've built towards. This is the final match. Uh, we don't know what life li uh, life after the Golden Quest is going to look like. We don't know what, what we're going to do. We don't know what divisions. We don't know what's happening. Tag team, maybe IC. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what the plan is. I'm going to sip this green tea. I'm going to savor this moment. Well, okay. I'll, I'll save like one sip. Just in case I need it during this whole thing. But it is time. I think it's time we, we, we actually do something traditional. We actually get some, some Bruce Buffer action. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live! It is main event time. Time to finish off the Golden Quest, the final match. Kazuchika Okada, Night Wolf's pick versus... The Cookie Monsters pick of Lance Archer, undefeated Murder Hawk Monster. Here we go. Main event time. Time to crown the first winner of the Golden Quest, the first heavyweight champion, and time to determine whose name is going to go in into the game as the first heavyweight champion. Are you guys ready? If you're ready, let me see some blood trails in the chat. Let's 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 hype this thing up. There you go. In case you need it during what should be an epic match. Thank you for the sip of green tea. That's going to come in handy. I'm saving it for a, for, a, for a moment that I'll need it. When my voice starts to go, I'm going to sip that green tea. There we go. Let's get some hype going in the chat. There we go. Whew. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are, arms are ready, I guess. It is so hot, by the way, in London. I don't know wherever you, wherever you guys are watching from uh, in the universe, whether it's the, the Zealand of New, whether it's the, the land of Canada, whether it's the final land, whether it's, uh, you know, wherever it is. The somewhat United States of America. I thank you for sticking with this till the end and uh, kind of watching along on YouTube. I know there's people that don't watch this live that will kind of catch the VODs. It's fucking amazing what we've kind of, the kind of interest we've been able to get for something that we all kind of enjoy doing. It's been so much fucking fun. I am so sweaty right now because it's fucking like 30 something degrees. I see the emos in the chat. Let's kick this off. It is time for your main event. Okada versus Archer. And there he is, the undefeated. One win away from a clean sheet. And there we go, the Rainmaker making his way to the ring. As we commence the final match of the Golden Quest, Okada wasting no time going for that snapmare right onto that mug emote, that hero for fun emote could be yours. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and hey, if you can't really do that right now, there's a way to do it for free if you guys have Amazon Prime. You have Twitch Prime. Uh, hit exclamation mark Prime in the Twitch chat and figure out how you can get a subscription for absolutely free. As Lance Archer goes for a cover, Okada kicking out at one. And a huge dumping uh, slam to the Rainmaker. Okada now managing to, to get that front face lock, taking Archer down momentarily. Stomps him while he's on the ground. And I'm going to need that sip of green tea. I'm, 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 whoa, whoa, wait a second. Wait a second. 
There we go. All the green teas are gone. It's gone. It's done for this tournament. We're going to have to bear with this one. Okada going for a European uppercut. Main event time. Uh, main event poll. Lance Archer or Kazuchika Okada. Who's winning this one? The Twitch poll is up. Uh, and you can vote right now. As uh, Okada in a strong lead. Is he the underdog? Could he be considered an underdog in this one? Whoa, 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 what is this? We've not seen Archer do this before. Walking the ropes and just connecting to the throat of the Rainmaker. Unable to get one count. But maybe we haven't seen all that Archer has to offer. That was very impressive for the big man. Uh, as Okada's picking him up off the floor and takes him straight back down with that swinging neckbreaker. Going to the top of the blue corner and deciding that he didn't have enough time. Uh, to get some proper offense going, but looks like he's locked in a rear naked choke, taking the big man down. Not very tall when you're on the mat on the cerulean blue, as both men now back and forth. Okada looks like he's got slight edge, but Archer, the powerful murder hawk monster, now going for a cover with that EBD claw. And Okada, it's very scary. Every time we see it, you never know when a match could end. Oka Okada now Maybe going again to that top rope and again that hesitation could be what costs him here Or perhaps it saves him as he connects with the back elbow And it looks like Archer's slightly stunned. We haven't seen him in this position very often uh, But he took a second there to catch his breath and that allowed Okada to take advantage Slap Archer in the face and connect with the European uppercut and he actually gets an applause from the audience as he gets a two count. This time sitting on the back. Uh, Nightwolf1987. I become fearful when I see that claw. Because you never know. You never know when it could end. Jaspi, it's been a pleasure to do the calls for the Golden Quest. It's been uh, so fucking helpful. Uh, for you doing the polls. Like it's, uh, it's... It's been... Just thanks. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. As Archer looks like he's winded. Um... Gets him to the red corner. Okada finding a way out. Seven minutes approaching in this one. Oh, wait a minute. Okada reversing the chokes that maybe saving himself uh, some damage there. Archer going for a cover. And now Okada dragging Archer away from the ropes. Very interesting as uh, Okada hits the low drop kick. And we have a hundred percent of the vote going to Okada, who has to be considered the underdog in this match. Okada with a hundred percent of the votes Getting a two count on Archer. This is this is the most human we've seen the murder hawk monster in about ten matches Archer wait a minute. We've seen him use underhanded tactics before against Naito pulling out sledgehammer and Okada Sees it coming and connects with a big boot to the face of the the, the giant uh, Murder Hawk Monster unable to connect with the German suplex, which is worked for Okada against so many opponents. Uh, he was able to defeat Tanahashi in his last match uh, with a German suplex, ending in a pinfall and a huge spear and a running knee drop from Archer. Any one move that this monster seems to do seems to take the wind out of his opponent. And now they tie up again. Okada going for a rear waist lock. Okada counted there, or being counted there. EBT and he gets out he gets out Okada finds a way out you never know what's gonna happen with that move he gets out 10 minutes have passed in this one and he locks it in again Okada being asked if he wants wait a minute is he just choking him out Okada finds a way out Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okada coming back now with an Emerald Fusion. Showing signs of life deep into this one. A huge signature drop kick. 11 minutes. Which is a long time for Archer to be wrestling. I don't know if he's, he's as well conditioned. Uh, as Okada, but he hits the slam, goes for a cover. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Here is your winner of the Golden Quest. The first. Undefeated heavyweight champion, the Murder Hawk Monster, Lance 
archer. There we go, victory for the murder hawk monster. And a new champion is crowned. The first champion is crowned. And here we are. The coronation ceremony for the cookie monster. Oh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, what we'll do is, I'm gonna take this off. What would you like as an alternate? We need an alternate, we need an alternate name. We need an alternate name. Monster, okay, there we go. He is Cookie Jones no more. Ascending to the heavyweight rank as Monster. The first champion. There's going to be many more champions to come, you have to believe, but there's only going to be one first. And there we go. I am speechless, I don't know what to say, it's been one hell of a fucking tournament from the 4th of July all the way up to here in the finals, 31st, on this baking hot summer night on July, the 31st, everybody dies <laughs> as Archer becomes the first heavyweight champion. I want to thank everyone for like taking part, getting invested, um, tuning into the streams, watching on YouTube, leaving comments, likes, subscribing, the follows. The green tea, um, been very key, been very key. And yeah, what the future holds for Fire Pro, I don't know. So the Golden Quest concludes, this was a lot of fun, guys, honestly, this was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I think this is a good place to call it for YouTube. Uh, I want to thank you for giving me a bite-sized chunk of your day wherever whenever you're watching this and since you're on YouTube know that we're currently moving along the path towards 100 subscribers so I ask would you kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube and if you enjoyed what you saw click us a thumbs up I look forward to you joining us again.